Timster here with another video and today we're looking at how to increase your win rate or how to be better at World of Tanks in general. This is going to be more oriented towards beginners but I hope I can still help those people that are a little more advanced with a couple tips. Anyway, let's move right along to the first stage, the prep phase, before a battle even starts. And that's going to concern the four things on the bottom of your garage, camouflage, consumables, ammunition, and equipment. I'm going to go ahead and say that consumables is the most important out of the four. Multi-purpose restoration pack is essential, as well as a repair kit, just for the extra times you get tracked. And the third consumable can be whatever your little heart desires. The next most important thing is you want to make sure you have some premium shells just in case you go up those higher tier tanks. For the equipment, I do recommend improved ventilation class 3, large caliber tank gun rammer and enhanced gun laying drive. Those are the best three, of course they're the most expensive too. For camouflage, if you are low on credits, definitely do not recommend getting camouflage but if you're a tank destroyer or a uh, medium tank and you just love camping in the back of a map go ahead and get camouflage before you even click the battle button there are two rules of thumb that everyone should know regardless of the tank they're playing regardless of the map they are on the first rule of thumb is to never go to the cap the second the battle starts. It's in normally in the middle of the map. It's very vulnerable and in a non-advantageous spot. So definitely do not recommend going there if you're a beginner. Sometimes people will do it to put pressure on the enemy team, but I strongly disrecommend it. The second rule of thumb is to always go for high ground on any particular map because that will give you increased visibility, you'll be able to help your team more, and you'll also have a maneuverability boost whenever you want to relocate. You can go downhill faster than you go, can go uphill, and this will help a lot in most situations. So keep those two in mind. Never go for the cap as the battle starts, and always go for high ground. The next phase is probably considered the most boring stage in the whole game, and that's just waiting for the battle to start. Now this, believe it or not, is the most important phase in the whole game. Why is that? It's because it's going to determine the whole battle. This phase is called initial strategy, and it's all about awareness. You not only want to be aware as to what map you're on and what tank you're playing, but you also want to be aware as to what kind of tanks are on your team and what kind of tanks are on the enemy team. I just want to point out that battle awareness comes with experience. If you are a beginner, it's definitely something you're going to want to do. Awareness is one of the most useful skills in strategy games. But now on to the next phase, and that's is team play guys when the game starts you want to be aware as to what your team is doing first communicate where you guys are going to be going communicate what you guys are going to be doing and help your team out as much as possible because your team will help you win just keep that in mind <laughs> not many people realize that uh but yes one of the most general strategies for beginners is to basically just stick with the team Um, and all go in as one group in the same general direction. It's a strategy that many people use and it does work. So it's definitely a good strategy to use. Just stick with your team, stick together, and um, take on enemy tanks one by one. And now for a rule of thumb that took me so freaking long to realize. A lot of people probably do it without even realizing it, but it took me an extremely long time to one, realize, and one, use it effectively. But never be idle. Never be in one spot uh, behind your team just being like, oh, I'm just taking a little picnic here. You wanna be in a position to constantly be helping your team 
without taking damage. Now that is very hard to do because most of the time when you're shooting someone they can shoot you. That's why it, it, it's a very hard thing to do but again the main point is to never be idle in a battle. It's not uh, always be doing damage. It's to never be idle and always try to help your team. There's so many people that kind of just camp it out in the back and hope that an enemy tank will pass there. Miracles don't happen, guys. You have an engine for a reason. Uh, please use it, and you need to just not be idle. The more you are idle, the more the chances are of you losing. Of course, you have the opposite case where someone goes full out YOLO swag and decides that they're going to have a race around the map. Cough, cough, I didn't do that, did I? Um, <laughs> but yes, they basically just rush the enemy team and get exploded to bits in... Uh, actually, it's not even exploded. They don't even explode. They literally get sucked into a black hole of nothingness and nothing remains that's how fast they die <laughs> guys don't rush the enemy team uh, you want to wait for your team and stick together with them Of course, there's going to be the two opposite sides of the spectrum. One where they just are idle in the back, and one where they rush and basically die in three seconds. You want to be somewhere in the middle. Stick with your team, try to be helpful without dying. That's the most important like thing to consider. Don't die. But anyway guys, I think that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Um, of course, I said a lot of stuff in here, it's kind of hard to remember. The two things I would focus on is help your team as much as possible, and don't die. <laughs> that's probably the, the, the important one in that one, uh, that's, that's the most important thing. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, it kind of helped you. Uh, if it did, of course, make sure to leave a like, spend a lot of time on this video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.